and millions of years ago, the bottom layer is the oldest. Sometimes traces of animals and plants are also found in them. This is a fossil and fossils are the skeletal remains of an organism that lived on our earth millions and millions of years ago. The only way we know about dinosaurs today is because of the fossil formation. I want to teach you about the most important type of sedimentary rocks in this beautiful place over here. Millions and millions of years ago, the earth was filled with a lot of such thick green forests growing in swamps. As the trees in these forests died, they got buried in the swamps. As more and more trees died, they would squeeze the older layers of trees below them. The older trees would then go deeper, deeper, deeper into the swamp where over the years, the heat and the pressure gradually, very gradually changed them into something we call coal. Coal is very important to us. We use coal to obtain energy. Let me tell you why and how. So plants on earth use energy from the sun to make their food. So coal is basically plants which have, you know, been preserved or pressed or compressed over a long period of time. So they have that energy of the sun trapped in it. So when we then burn coal, which is nothing but these old preserved trees, pressed trees, we obtain energy and we use energy for so many things like generating electricity even. And how do we generate electricity? By burning coal. The plants and animals in the sea are going to die. And their bodies and different parts are going to sink to the bottom of the sea. As more layers come over millions and millions of years, the layers are going to get squeezed just like the trees did. And then they're going to turn into something called petroleum. So just like coal, petroleum also has stored energy like coal because these sea creatures it plants to be alive and so they have that energy in them and as they get preserved over millions and millions of years the energy is also preserved in them and we use petroleum for so many different things to run our vehicles a lot of factories also so the difference between coal and petroleum is actually very simple right coal is formed from trees that are preserved and pressed over periods of time below the land and petroleum is formed from dead animal bodies preserved over a long period of time under the water bodies. So, although coal and petroleum have since ages been the primary source of energy and electricity generation, they're not going to last forever. There is a problem for humanity because these resources can actually get over. We need to use them more judiciously. The rate at which they are produced, I told you it takes millions of years, is far, far slower than the rate at which we use them. In fact, at the current usage rate, petroleum is just going to last another 100 years and coal maybe just another 250 years if we continue burning it the way we burn it today. Another thing is that burning coal or petroleum, uh, we call both of them fossil fuels, it causes a lot of air pollution. So human beings have started figuring out better usage of sources that are more sustainable, something that will last for a long period of time and something that doesn't pollute our earth. Where would you look to for energy? The sun. The sun is the primary source of energy. And we have figured out how to use this energy before it gets into plants, before it gets into animals. So we have solar cookers now that can cook food by just using sunlight directly. So all that needs to be done is focus the light of the sun on the food container. 
similarly we have solar cells that can convert energy from the sun into electricity even street lights can run on this electricity if you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now